Hi guys, uh, welcome to homestudiosound.com. I'm going to show you a video on how to rewire Reason in Pro Tools. Pro Tools is the uh, DAW software uh, which a lot of people are using and I'm using it for a while now and this video in particular is about how to rewire Reason in Pro Tools. Reason itself is an amazing piece of uh, software uh, loaded up with uh, tons of racks and it's pretty much competitive with any other software in the market today and it has like um, uh, amazing uh, effects amazing instrument sets in it and I just recommend you take a look and use it to produce high quality music since a lot of people are using Reason these days uh, and and you're always used with the respective DAW software there's always a need to kind of track your Reason tracks into uh, the DAW software and this uh, particular video is exactly showing you that. So to start with uh, I already have opened up a Pro Tools uh, uh, project and um, first thing uh, to do is to create a stereo instrument track. To do that you just go track new stereo and then instrument track and click create. So you can see um, the instrument 4 track just got loaded up and I have already uh, created a couple of other instrument tracks before. And the next step is to go to your mix window and I'm pressing control equal to and I'm using windows uh, so I'm control equal to is the key to get into or toggle between edit window and the mix window. So to start uh, with Reason, so you have to insert uh, the Reason plugin in the Insert uh, se section of the Pro Tools. So you go to Instrument and load up Reason. You know I have a couple of other instruments here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click Reason here. So I'm not going to actually click here because uh, it takes up a while to load up into my computer here. So I've already preloaded Reason, if you can see here. And uh, once you click uh, Reason, um, so it's going to come up with a rewire dialog and then the Reason software itself. So once you load up uh, Reason in, the, in your instrument track in the inserts, so you're going to come up with a rewire dialog and Reason. So the next step is to choose the channel. So I've already selected the channel, but I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, you select channel 3, 4 here and I'll tell you why. So let's start with another uh, brand new Reason project instead of using the demo project here. So here, so this is your new project and you can see uh, the couple of uh, basic devices that got loaded up like mix device mastering device and the reason hardware device. So go and create a, uh, another device. So I'm going to start with the NN19 digital sampler. So yeah, I just load it up now. And now if you press tab on reason, so you're going to show, being shown with the, uh, how the uh, devices are connected. And you can see that in the NN19 uh, device here, the, your audio outputs are not connected to the uh, hardware device in Reason. So go uh, take your L uh, output to channel 3 and R output to channel 4, which basically says that you're connecting your audio outputs to channel 3 and 4, and that's the uh, main reason uh, I told you to select the respective channels in your rewire dialog. So this creates like an audio pathway. So what happens here is we now ha have an audio pathway between two programs. So any audio that the NN19 makes will now leave its audio outputs and pass via the patch cables to inputs 3 and 4 on the Reason hardware interface. By plugging cables into the hardware interface we are effectively connecting them to the Reason plugin in Pro Tools. In other words, if the sampler uh, makes a sound, 
we will hear it on the uh, instrument track in Pro Tools. So that's the process of rewiring here. So let me play, um, go back to the um, device uh, window by pressing tab ag again. So, and load up a sample patch. So I'm just loading up like a big strings. So let me play uh, the big strings here. So you can see while I play, um, you can see the uh, instrument track here in Pro Tools showing you the LED. So which means the uh, track is now armed and receiving your audio outputs from Reason into Pro Tools. So if I uh, play it again, you can see the instrument track LED showing up. So yeah, that's that's how you uh, simply get to do the rewiring of uh, Reason into Pro Tools and it's pre pretty straightforward and I hope you enjoyed the video. To to watch more content about this particular video go to homestudiosound.com and you can see a lot of article that I've written up on this particular video. So thank you.